What's up, guys? You're watching Hot Facts with my dad, Robert Reese. Facts with Robert Reese. Yo, what's good, everybody? Man, I wear Hot Facts, man, with my boy Robert Reed, man. It's past the dark, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. Get them facts. You're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. You're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. You are watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. You're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. What's up, y'all? We're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. Name me out. Check, check me out. Check me out. Check, check me out. Check me out. Hot facts with Robert Reese. Now, this individual. <laughs> I, 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 all right, you work. You work hard on YouTube, Pedro. You work hard every day. He's, work, he's working harder than I am. Right I was going to say that. Thank you. Yep. Yep. This man is doing videos, shorts, and he's doing an hour-long live stream five days a week. You're not even doing that. Yeah. No. It, really? Listen, me and Robert, Hannibal, me and Robert, you know, we've talked a few times. I had him on the channel. We have each other's number and we've chopped it up. We, we have a lot of similarities and we have a, a lot of differences. We have core things that we're very, like, I do not believe in some of the things he says. And him, he goes the same way with me, but there's a mutual respect there, which I really like. Yeah. Um, and I really respect what he, his grind and his hustle. He reminds me of myself because he's, he's betting on himself. He's, you know, if you watch his first, uh, his intro clips, maybe I'm sure you've seen it. He's yeah. got, I know, I imagine Robert's going to places and saying, hey man, I got a channel. Would you subscribe? And he's like, hey, would you would you say that you watch Hot Facts Robberies? And they don't. But he's giving that, he's about that community and he's building up. His, you know, he is going, cool. he's going pretty fast. Like I yeah. see the, the subs yeah. moving and yeah, like I, I yeah, I don't agree with, <laughs> I mean, we we're giving him props to also I was like, yeah, some of the things. <laughs> He knows it well. He has his own method, right? Like, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, take yeah. the first order of the day. Yeah. <laughs> I, nah, dude, I'm not doing that. But yeah. I appreciate his grind, his hustle. He's Probably. he's engaging in the camera. Um, yeah. He's really putting everything into this. And I you know, I just want to give him his flowers right now. I, I, I'm going to talk to him. With Steve Wright share uh, rodeo in a live stream tomorrow. I subscribe, I check him out. He, he, remind, he gives me like that daily, like, okay, is he gone? All right, cool. Like, it's normal. Like, I watch you flex. And now it's Robert Reese. Like, if one of you yeah. guys don't upload, I'm like, okay, is everything all right? Wrong. If Flex don't, it's not an upload, uh, what's going on? Why he's not streaming? Yeah. Right? My account deactivated. I think we all know what happened. Jealousy, shit. I gotta lay low, move different. It sucks, guys. What can you do, man? Hating ass people hating on you. Nothing I can do about it. Which it wasn't the case. They don't want to see me win. They don't want to see my channel grow. So I just want to go away. It never happened. But it did. I'm glad it did. Try to stop my shine. They pray for me to fall. They want me to fail. Why you do this shit to me, huh? It's not cool. I got kids. You know who it was? You know who told on me? Betty's a rat. One of his little minions. They all pamper his pussy in the comments. Poor Pedro. <laughs> Grown ass man. Y'all here in St. Louis doing what you did. Ain't surprised that happened? Half ass apologies. My folks ain't sorry. Over there try to save face and shit. One thing I'm not gonna do on this channel is continue to pick fights with people and start shit. That's not what I'm trying to do. That was just unavoidable. Too much disrespect. Give a damn. Give a goddamn man. Fucking people. So moving forward, you gotta lay low. These motherfuckers is telling. Big Jelly. How you doing, man? How you doing, man? When you can't figure it out, you just tell on me. I ain't surprised. I know your character. See, I know who I am as a person. No fake image. I'm pretending to be somebody I'm not. 
What a bunch of bullshit. I still to this day don't understand why he wanted to fuck with me. I don't get it. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Gangsters, they don't even clap gas. Listen up, I'm a soldier, nigga. I spit these things and throw these from the shoulders, nigga. It don't matter what you're talking about, get out my way. You little bust is about to feel my pain. You getting stomped out, kicked all in your teeth. I guess you ain't heard about me. California stay spitting that heat. I'm a maniac. Grand black shine from my head to my feet. I got chucks on my feet, shell toes and Cortez. Levi's dick, he's khakis, you know this. And know some real shit. Since you asking, I lived on the west on every city that I stayed in. California be the golden state, nigga. Land of the G's, home of the earthquakes. I had to have y'all keep it gangster, people. Um, that's hilarious. That 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 that's a uh, me, uh, my boys with the Greer family. 
He said his name there. His sister was signed with Dre. We were in musical production together and all the other stuff. Did all that. And then that's me at the end. My, old, my older brother's in the front. We keeping it gangster because someone got gangster. I want to welcome you guys to King of St. Louis, the first original docudrama series brought to you by me, myself, well, by way of Pedro Dordas Santiago and No Bumper the Gig Machine. I see the Blade Vigilante. Every episode is not about you. You have me blocked. But I'm going to just do this before you or well, you're watching right now. Just as long as you're watching, you made everything up. Uh, Mississippi was about the six police officers. Since you're here, I'm going to go ahead and keep it gangster on you. Um, Mississippi was not where you're from. That was the six police officers that um, did the assault to the two black men with stun guns, sex toys, and planned to execute them, but they got caught in Mississippi. Secondly, the words coming from your mouth, that's you saying I challenge everyone. The guy above you, that's let that that that's that's cut to the chase TTV. I did his thing right after I did Meaty My Mama, which went into him. And then you saw that there's SpaceX. I spoke about SpaceX on the hot seat and then Eli was up there on the title when it was uh who won then we spoke about other things so I just want to let you know so you can be looking all you want this show is not about you this is the king of St. Louis unless you are in St. Louis you have nothing to do with this now oh I got something to say about this beef and the reason for the deactivation Drama now, see, oh, dashing with John. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because look, I'm gonna keep it gangster right now. You know what, John? John, John, click the link, John. John, click the link because uh, I want to hear from you first. People, this is episode number eight, and this episode is gonna be great. We heard what the gig machine he said. I gotta keep it gangster with him all the way because he's brand new to the scene. Now, also, I want to I start this because uh, this is a real channel here. Mr. Make Money says, I believe you had something to do with GDA deactivation. People, this is the first docudrama series of the gig world going in. People think that I have something to do with it. He's blaming Pedro, everything else. Dashing with John says, I got something to say. Well, dashing with John, let me let me hear what you got to say, because I want to hear this for episode number eight. And before you do speak, John, uh, I want you to let the people know where they can find you at and all that other great stuff so that you can pub yourself. Go ahead and pub yourself first and then get in. And, and then and then we go cut to the chase because I know you got something to say. Now, people, this is why episode number eight is so great. Episode number eight is so great because of everything that we have seen from episode one. To episode seven, we got people out there that have questions, and some of their questions and what they're thinking play into episode number eight. I did not want to do episode number eight three days ago because it was quiet like crickets, crickets, crickets. What's going on? I knew there was something going on off of just I know when someone comes into the gig space and they're trying to make themselves known and do some stuff. I know when things happen. So I said, I'm not going to do a number eight and have number eight be a boring episode. Number eight is cracking. And I knew that something like this would happen. He's deactivated. Now, I want to hear from Dashing with John, people. Dash, Dashing with John, for those of you who don't know, this is a, a great new up-and-coming content creator who is doing some great things in the gig space. And by frankly from what i have seen him say i trust his word and his opinion because he's not saying no nonsense so this is a complete outside looking in like everybody else is so you know and i'm gonna let him finish it off john uh, let them know where they can find you at. introduce yourself and get busy brother get busy get funky with it all right you can get me at Dashing with John. Brand new, been on here like 44 days, got over 600 subscribers. Uh, my editing and stuff is getting good. My content's getting good. It's getting better. But I, I want to get right on this. When they started this, this whatever you want to call it, like I personally think it started off as them, like a real thing, and then went 
into a um, a space where they started working people. You know what I mean? And then at some point, one person, uh, uh, no bumper TV, went a little too hard after their agreement. And then Pedro kind of stopped working for two days. And that's a true thing. Pedro himself said he was sick, didn't go out for two or three days, didn't work. And then no bumper has been quiet. And it finds out that he's deactivated. The, here's the thing. Let me know what you feel about that. Let me know what you feel about that deactivation, brother. Cool. Personally, he did it to himself. Like, like, look, I watch other content creators, Nova, Nova Hustles and Pedro and everything else. I've seen people put content on their stuff saying, hey, we got right and put the email up from DoorDash saying, we saw your video. We wanted to know what this uh, deactivation was about. And we're trying to help you out. Like DoorDash is on YouTube. They see this. So like, regardless of their little thing in that pizza jet, the jets or whatever pizza that they did, that was 100% make believe. But if DoorDash sees that on their shit, they're going to take it out. Also, when he's smoking in his car, whether he's just playing around for clicks, which I believe I've had conversations with GDA, like what you see is not what you get. I'll put it that way. As far as his DoorDash and service, you know what I mean? But DoorDash, when they see that stuff on the video, they don't know that. It's more likely that someone from DoorDash saw his video and shut his shit down than any one of us. Does any one of us know his real name? Does what, No, what, what, and well, well, wait, 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 wait. Let me stop you there because that's a good segue there because I'm glad you brought that up because he is not the first. He is not the first person. Nova Hustles and everyone has been deactivated. I was deactivated fraudulently. Um, and it took a long time for me to go ahead and go through steps. And here is one thing that people have to understand that from go and check this people, Billy Coop, Megan Rissman were DoorDash said that they want them to sign a contract and any content that they put up was going to be owned by DoorDash now, which means that they watch. Also, Tony Shu was on an interview with the rideshare guy in our community okay now check this out we have an official news channel that does work with someone that was inside that interlocking of that that happened all of everyone from um uber lift phoenix who got deactivated and all that other stuff once you put your content on and you hashtag doordash and do all that stuff they have a cyber unit there that watches everything now uh this comment right here says that I believe that you had something to do with GDA deactivation. I will tell you this, not me personally, but my views that I get and how I cover the gig world, they watch Hot Facts also. Um, and check this out. If you're on the news and they watch and they go ahead and see what you're doing, they may have seen the incident inside the pizza place or what he don't know is the pizza place may have had a tablet because it wasn't Papa John's, it was Jets. They could have said that this guy, it was him, came into our establishment and did that. They showed their video from on the inside. He gets caught, that's him. That ain't got nothing to do with me, people. But just like Glitch Dash showed some information while he was doing the glitch, while this guy said, I have a glitch, Glitch Dash was deactivated for doing the glitch and showing information about a customer. They watch. So he's saying that Pedro had me. People are snitching. No, bruh. It's just like you went on Vlad TV and all that stuff, bruh. You went on first take with Stephen A and Shannon. You went on Undisputed with Skip. You went and told the locker room situation without a publicist or a management team to tell you don't do that. You went out there doing it, G, and now you get caught. And now you see you came in here a little bit too hot. You should have been on a damn hot seat. You came in here a little bit too hot. And by being too hot and doing the smoking, and I tried to stall you out by putting you and your son in um, the most entertaining there so they can see it's entertainment. But all of what you already put out there is already out there. Now, if you don't think the 4 million views that I got here and then the 15 million views uh, worldwide on social media don't count and they are watching, brother, you didn't talk yourself into a stupid ditch. Now, 
we got John up here and John came in here to do it right. He got his daughter doing it with, with him. He's doing it right. He's talking about good advice and stuff. He ain't coming in trying to get no beefs. He ain't showing no this and that, showing that they can see all this. We got a good and the bad. So right now, GDA, you got to dig yourself up out. But you also said something that we all have said. I'll be right back on up. I got deactivated. It don't happen that fast, G. Now, your other accounts, unless you were lying for your content, your other accounts, you should be active or you're going to do the GDA on Uber Eats, which we all know you can't be GDA on Uber Eats. And if you say you can, you're a damn liar. You are a damn. You cannot be GDA on Uber Eats. So you are. You are either going to use Uber Eats or you're going to go into Big Larry's or your uh, wife's profile and use theirs that's what you're gonna have to do because while you said it's, it's spring break no you're thinking about your next game plan and right now while pedro was quiet that challenge that he was supposed to challenge you you on to see who takes the money he, he did that with somebody else which lets me know you've been knocked out the race and i said that you ain't gonna do it because you got multiple accounts and you can't show your face and do it. So what you gonna do, GDA? Right now, Pedro looks like he gets the laugh, laugh, and you came into a race too hot and thinking you know too much before you knew that DoorDash watches all of us. John, what you think about that? Well, yeah, and I think Pedro did him a disservice because Pedro knows all this. Pedro has been in the gig space like. I hear Pedro isn't a full-time gigger anymore. I hear Pedro doesn't do this for real. He goes out a couple hours for content. I don't know that to be the case. But Pedro knows better. Pedro knows. Like, I do believe they at some point worked together. And Pedro gave him some bad advice and had him doing things that he shouldn't have been. And I feel bad for Gig to a point because, I don't know, you watched the video, obviously, you could tell one thing in that video was out of everything that's been real from GDA's shorts and videos, that eight minute video couldn't have been more real because you saw hurt and disappointment in that man's face, in that man's eyes, like that man was upset and, and you can't help but to feel for that. But a part of it is you brought it on yourself because like I, the only people, and I, I don't know people like this. I've only been on here for 44 days or whatever. But I promise you, if you're getting your account deactivated and it's because of your content, it's because you put a negative spin on DoorDash. 100%. Like, like if you put a negative spin on DoorDash on this app, they're going to try to shut you down any way they can. Even if they can't do it for a long time, if they can get you off the app for 30, 60 days so you can't make no content and, 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 and complain and put DoorDash in the dirt. But when I see all these deactivations, it's from people who have a negative spin. Pedro, GDA, um, not Nova Hustler. He seemed pretty cool. Um, no, he got deactivated too. Well, yeah, but I don't know if it's because of his, I don't watch enough of his content to know if he puts a negative spin on Right, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you that when Nova Hustles, no one really knew exactly what he was doing on how his numbers were coming up. I had a little bit of an insight because of um, Dash Bandicoot. They would have lunch to get together, and I know that they can make at least 250 a day. But there were days where he was making way too much money that was out of the norm. And all of a sudden, he was he was axed out. So I don't know what happened there, but I'm not going to speculate either. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about the money. Because like today, I had a little heads up with Dash and Investor, you saw. Um I made $200 in five hours in like 40 minutes. And I'm going to go back out tonight and put a more of a beat down on them. But as far as the, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, he upset. He upset. <laughs> um, but like, but that it, it's more likely that, that no bumper got himself banned from his content. And yeah, it doesn't help that you cover it and everything else, but guess what? It is what it is. He wanted to be seen. So he had no problem with people here, people there. Like, I would have never known about him if it wasn't for the glitch and the Pedro beef. Like, he came on here with some good ideas. He just went. Well, go about the glitch. Well, well, John, just talk about the glitch right, right now because the glitch is one of the main things here. Now, he's going out there saying a glitch. Now, people, we know on DoorDash you have to do facial recognition every now and then. 
Now what they are able to do is get that picture and run it through their database to see who he is and what account. And that's how they can track you down through yeah. that. Right. Come on now. Like, and I don't know what the glitch is about, like, because I, I know when you first start a DoorDash account, you get like a month honeymoon where it doesn't matter what you accept, what you decline. But I saw his numbers. He had like over like 14,000 deliveries on right. that percent of kids. So like it wasn't a brand new. I don't know what it is. And I wasn't hating on him. Hey, if you can make it work and you can try to do what you do, so be it. No problem. But you keep that quiet. Like that's money. Like you, you don't put that out in the universe because once you put that out in the universe, there are people watching, but there are also people that will be hating that do it the right way. But I, st it's still like nobody on here knows his real name. So who are they gonna call? Hey, there's this big guy who wears a Cardinals jersey in St. Louis all the damn time that has a glitch. Like it's more likely DoorDash bust. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I brought up the facial recognition thing to where if they don't know who you are, use multiple accounts, they can easily use the facial recognition software set up so they can do their thing. And then that's how it works right there. But I'm glad that you are bringing this stuff up because check this out, man. You could have instantly like, well, as someone new coming into the game, well, let me go ahead and try to beef with him because he's trying to beef with these guys. You were like, no, I want to know what you saw was wrong with his approach on what you are doing yourself. Let me know because you guys are both new trying to get there, get it up and grow. What is it from what you see from here that you're like, I'm not doing that? Like, what is it that makes you say that's not good for my business? Well, it's two. It's two things. One, his is negative. From him. <laughs> And mine's a positive approach. Negative will work out in the short term, but you're not playing the long game. In this game and on YouTube, the, 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 the negative is only the short term. You're not going to go very far long term with the negative. And I'm, I'm a positive person because I'm me. But that's the problem. After watching that eight-minute video with him, that negativity wasn't real. He ain't that guy. He a different guy. Like I saw in the eight minute video with being upset, sad, like he, he looked like someone's like something really bad happened to him. That is the, that is the real guy. And he wanted to put up this facade thinking he could get quick hits, quick views, quick, uh, just get blown up overnight because he is brash and he talk loud and he can get verbally aggressive. That's not, well, that's not, well, yeah, Twiggy said that he wanted to be infamous, not try to get in here and do his thing. So he's infamous. My next question for you, uh, people, this is Dashing with John. Go ahead and check his channel out, Dashing with John. He does great things, great info. He has, as of right now, uh, him and check out the Dashing Investor. They got a really good pairing going on, and they got a really good thing going on, and, and they're getting it in. Um, he does a lot of great things. Check out Dashing with John. My question for you is, how do you feel that he's trying to use, well, Pedro, you snitched on me? Why Why do you, you know, he's saying, Pedro, you snitched on me. And from him saying, Pedro, you snitched on me, what do you think Pedro was going to get out of, uh, does he think Pedro is going to get like a bad rap for saying you snitched on me? So let me know both parts of that. No, uh, first of all, Pedro is not going to get a bad rap. He got 76,000 followers. His followers know who he is, the ups and downs, the positive, the negatives, the, the, the bipolar of the attitude where he's happy, he's sad. Like his, his people know that. So they can say whatever they want. He might get more subscribers. That, that's not going to affect him. And, and why he's blaming Pedro, honestly, because he, he's looking for someone to blame other than himself. Like, and, and that's how that goes. Like, he doesn't think his actions did anything because he doesn't think that DoorDash would look on his content and see, oh, shit, what the hell is this guy doing? So what does everybody really want to do in life when they do something wrong? They want to blame someone else other than themselves. So right. Just look in the mirror, to be honest with you. Well, well, let me ask you this next part because I'm going to throw in a part C. 
obviously i'm the person covering the series and this is episode number eight people episode number eight is a live series because of this is the next part of this thing and i'm covering it uh i got one person saying i think you had something to do with it um how many people do you think out there are blaming hot facts for 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 having him get get uh the axe I would say probably more people than they should. I mean, yeah, you helped cover it and get up and get more views to it. But at the end of the day, if it doesn't get put out by him, you don't have anything to cover. Like, so. I, right. I yes. And all right. I got somebody coming up. I do the news. So, you know, by doing the news, you know, I like you can't have no news without nothing going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, let me see like, who this is. We got we 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 got we got TFT hopping in on this matter right here. What's up, TFT? What you got to add on in? Where am I going? Okay. What's up, TFT? There oh, we go. Hey, uh, kind of lost track of where you guys were, but uh, when it comes to what is it, uh, count deactivations, I think it was. Mm -hmm. I had to do yes, some loopholes yes. and jumping around here, so I'm trying to figure out where I was. Um, honestly, any of us who have any kind of presence on YouTube, whether it's like me popping up from time to time and uploading the occasional video or you going a full on content creator, browse me one, yourself. Perfect. TFT, can mm -hmm. I interject something really quick? It's just going to be a quick one. This one's for Robert. Go ahead. I saw, Go ahead, Roy. I, I saw yesterday, Robert, you were talking about safety and stuff, and nobody talks about safety. Um, do you really think it's that safe to be driving around, fucking with your phone, worried about who's trying to come into the room and stuff? Do you think that's safe, bro? Well, Roy, it can it can be safe if you can do it. Um, it can be not safe, but obviously touching your phone, we are all guilty of it, so we are all guilty of that crime. Oh, okay, okay. I just want to ask you because you, 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 it's a safety thing. So I was just checking how's everybody's day going. No, no, Roy, I'm not gonna fake the funk, Roy, man. I didn't did maybe about <laughs> ten things that ain't safe um before you even clicked on. I ain't even gonna lie, Roy. Um, okay. <laughs> you know, I'm a well, human, and, and some of that shit happens. So, hey, all right, cool. All right, it is what it is. All right, cool. Well, I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day, and I'll talk to y'all later. Just wanted to have yeah, that. I was getting ready to go visit the wife right now that I wanted to jump in. Yeah, and uh, I was, right, and please. I was just parked too. I was just parked too, and I'm on. I was just all right. Yeah. And people, that's that's Roy. You got go watch Roy channel, people. He likes to bust people's balls. That's what he likes to do. That's what Roy likes to do. So <laughs> Roy made his appearance on episode number eight of uh the King of St. Louis. We are on here speaking about you know the deactivation and what happens. TFT just joined in on the panel here, people. TFT has something to add in because we have seen many people get deactivated and things like this, and TFT for sure has seen his fair share. So, uh, TFT, what you got to add on in on oh. this? Ow. Like I was saying, anybody who finds themselves in a situation where they're being deactivated and there are content creators, nine times out of ten, it's something you've done, whether you realize it or not, in these videos we're uploading. Whether it's you mistreating the customer's food, saying something disrespectful to a merchant or customer, or somebody random passing by, or that little skit of uh, what's his initial GDA and Pedro having yeah, a little yeah. argument and Spack and Papa John's, that right there is grounds enough for DoorDash to terminate him. Uh, right now, that's what I'm if you ever put TFT. anything. You put anything out here publicly. No, TFT, I was saying that if they go into a restaurant, and that's why I asked Pedro. I asked Pedro, do you think it'll be escalated? Because Pedro was involved in the situation there. And obviously, he was not the aggressor there. They saw him go ahead and do his thing and get all up inside there. But, you know, Pedro was mm -hmm. involved in that. But all they need to do is look at the cameras on the inside, and all they have to do is say, hey, we know who it is. We don't want him inside here to come into our business anymore because he did that inside the mm -hmm. place of business. Yep. Like I said, that's one way to get you banned from the store. You can get alone terminated from DoorDash itself. 
Now, like, I've been on the past five years. I ain't ever been deactivated, and hopefully that continues. But, like, I don't put anything negative on my channel. I don't smoke in my car. Mm -hmm. As I use all the hot bags, catering bags, like you're supposed to do anyways, whether you're on camera or not. So I don't think even be a, being a content creator, I'm going to have an issue because everything on my channel is positive and everything. And GDA, yeah. I pull for because he has some super energy. He has that energy that I wish I could put in to my stuff. And, and, and that's one thing that's not fake. He comes with that high energy and that's what's going to make him he just needs to be more genuine, more, more him. Yeah, more genuine. And then you said it right there. You said the bags. He on video with them seeing his face with him putting videos up with food that's not in bags, the pizza. And they stand and then they mm -hmm. see him take a picture of the pizza bag at the place when they go watch his channel he they he takes a picture of the pizza bag when he gets in there so they know he's not even doing what the tos says so therefore he thinks that he was coming mm -hmm. in and no one knows this stuff man we've seen many come and many fall for trying to cheat the system out in a way and brother uh you've been humbled by um you've been humbled and everyone gets humbled in one way or another in your life. Thinking you just can come in be the king of St. Louis and all that. You wonder why uh, Pedro is still delivering there and does his thing? Because he, like he said, he ain't going into restaurants and he ain't trying to fight and all that stuff. Man, you got to be able to hold yourself to a different statue, which is why I didn't attack the guy out here. I start filming content for my channel, and the, and the police officer said, you did the best thing and the right thing. We look for more people like you. That's what I did. See? They yeah. see me at Taco Bell. Yeah, it's well, something going on. Hey, then saying, my man? name is on some damn report for being an aggressor. Um, DoorDash and Uber and Walmart gets a hold of it. Um, there you go. When they do checker, now I can't deliver for none of my apps anymore. Mm -hmm. And so that's why there's that, uh, what is it, Murphy's Law, I believe it is? No, not Murphy. Yep. Oh, well, maybe Murphy. You uh, talking about every action has an equal, every action has a Has a reaction. Oh, um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's like you, everything we do, you put forth positivity, you're going to get positivity. You put forth negative actions of any form, you're going to get negative actions. Yeah, uh, and nine times out of ten, it's not going to be equal to what you put. It's going to be double. Yeah, so that's why I tell people, stay respectful to everyone. Now, now see, do I'm your job and one, do it right. I'm going to go one step no. further, and I believe this. I believe he uses hot bags. I believe he uses his pizza bags. I believe he makes content for about three seconds that it shows and acts like he doesn't do it. But I do believe he does everything correctly. <laughs> I just think he thinks negative is going to get more hits and more views on YouTube. Personally, I think he does everything correctly. And I will say this. I've had conversations with him. So I, I, how I do you bounce little... back from, from, from this as someone that does content and someone that has a face out there and you are brand new, is it easier to bounce back from something that happens when you're brand new or is it harder to bounce back with something like this when you've already been established in the game? Um, how does he bounce back from this from, for both of you, um, 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 for you, John? The only way that he bounces back from this is what he does in real life. He has to put that on camera. He has to be him. That's what I mean. He has to be him, not the, the wrestling character that's been created. He has to be him because he is early enough to where he can bounce back. No problem. Now, if he would have done this, say, 40,000 subscribers into it and then said, hey, guys, sorry, uh, this wasn't really me. It was an act. This is going to be me from now on. It would be hard. He, he, it'd be impossible. But because he's so early into it, he just has to be him. That's it. Be, be him, be the genuine person that he is, not this thing he created. Now, I got something to say, because those are some very, that's very good advice. And knowing that I have kids, you have kids, you do things with your kids. I saw he was putting his kids in the content. Um, do you think he should have, once he saw he was gaining subs going in, he should have like, okay, I did some to catch some fire. And they like my kids. Do you think he should have started doing a little bit to tone it down from there once he hopped in and saw that he already gained their attention? 
See, I don't think he knew that when he put his kid, because not everybody pays attention to their analytics. They don't know what's getting hits. They don't know what's getting subscribers. So I think while he was still gaining su subscribers, he thought it was all off of, hey, this beef that I got with Pedro. I don't think he understood that, hey, I have something here with my kid. Let me be more of a family content creator with my DoorDash. And your kids don't have to be in your DoorDash, but you throw a couple shorts up with with your family and stuff like that. And, and that would work. I just don't think he realized that some of his – his people were coming to see him because they saw the other side to him. And that's what people. Well, want. let me ask you this. I get people giving me and some of them are trolls, obviously, but we actually get a percentage of those are real people. And they get upset at me because I have things with uh, my wife, my kids, um, my dogs. My dogs have been riding with me doing deliveries since my very first. Like when I got them is when they came in before them. It was diesel. Diesel used to go ahead and do it with, with me. And that was Princess and Lovely. And, you know, they, they say, yo, uh, you know, he does it. But look, people, we do content. We got people that we deliver to and people that watch that have animals and pets. We have kids. There's things about the everyday life that we do. Like, we got to spare time for this. There's parent-teacher meetings and stuff like that. We do it and, and, and when we do all this stuff. So when people put their family in their videos you're not using your family because you don't have it that's part of who you are and if your family is involved then it even makes the project better and whoever else don't think about that you know i just don't understand and like you said the negative thing is what he took to say i'm gonna do this and run to the top dashing trader did that also until he got so much backlash about confronting customers and everything once he made the a and e show he kind of scaled back and he's doing other things, but he still feels the same way. But something happened to him that made him have to scale back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I, I mean? mean? Yeah. Absolutely. I, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, also, like, this isn't breaking news for people. Like, when you put your family in it, you have your subscribers that are invested in you, whether it's because of your content or whatever else. So when you give a little piece sure. of real life to the people that actually makes them more invested in you because they're seeing a different part of you. And that's what people want personally. They like to see a little piece. Hold around eight times. Oh no. I almost, my wife was doing a package for a uh, DoorDash. She had to pick up from a customer's house to go take it to the UPS store. And I got tired of driving around this traffic circle that when I went around and came back, she was right here, but I was thinking she's going to be out there. So, so I almost missed my wife and did another circle on accident. So, you know, yeah, see, but you know about that. See, you understand all that works because that's part of content that you can put out there that I would understand because of what goes on. You know, people, when you're out there trying to make these chat channels in episode number eight, I'm thanking uh, John for being up here. Episode number eight, people, when you're trying to get a channel going, don't go off of what you initially said you were going to do. Because if you don't go off of what you initially said you were going to do, then you're going to be doing something that's not you. And if you do things that are, that are not you, you will blame everybody else for things that you actually did. No one told him to go and blow the blunts in the car and say I got three accounts and say that I say that I'm using a priority glitch and say this, this, this and that. Ain't nobody told him to go ahead and um do all that stuff. So if he does all that stuff by himself and he don't understand that, you know, DoorDash watches us and the gig apps watch us, that's how they get a lot of their studies done. Now, unlike the DoorDash revolution, I did not do an episode about the um about the um the beta testing how he said i did that because of him you got an order no, use the there is nobody um there is nobody that is focusing on one person to do all of that stuff you know there is no one doing try to focus on one person but you also got to know that there's a lot of people out there that they are watching all of us and we all know that we all know that. So for someone to say, I get into the game and I'm an expert and you don't do any research about the field you're getting in, 
First of all, I'm not going to get in and start talking about I know a glitch and do all this. That's how Pedro DoorDash Santiago used you, G. He used you for saying there's a glitch, and he said he's going to expose you because he don't have it. He's going to say that you're in my area making more than me. You could gain more than me. So, therefore, I'm going to say you're doing this, too. That, you know, like you walked right into the trap and then you going in being disrespectful in people's chats. Subscribe to my channel. GDA, all of this. You're talking about incidences that happened up in um, the St. Louis Bread Company with him getting checked. All it takes is for them to even get a picture of Pedro's picture for facial recognition to then go to where he may be picking up from and see was there an incident there also so therefore you got two incidences on camera and two businesses g one that we all can see and one that you don't even know that anyone can see but doordash and the merchants can now ain't nobody else gave you the axe with you going in doing these acts i'm glad that episode number eight was a reality show because in reality you know, you could have done things a whole lot differently. You could have confronted Pedro in a whole different way so that we all can see and say that, hey, look, I know you're trying to go ahead and do what I'm doing. I want you to try to do it and see what happens. You could have used those words. You didn't have to go in there and scream louder than all the decimals inside of the pizza place. Ain't nobody else in there, just like Torp said. Wasn't nobody else in there ordering or eating. It was just Pedro. You saw when he was all by himself to so go ahead and get at him. But somebody in the back that was next to some metal putting some pizza into an oven, when you start screaming like that, you bust their eardrums. That's what you did, G. And you did it twice. The LDA, your brother, did it the first time. And then it was you. But both y'all look alike. So on the description, both of you guys fit the description. So if both you guys fit the description and you going around doing it and you holding the door open and, and then looking at yourself, hey, I know you don't want to fight me and doing your hands like this. And Pedro sitting there looking like, and I know why he did the dumbfounded face. Huh? He did his hands just like that. He said, let's go outside your hands. What are you doing? Pedro did everything right, G. It was you, bro, brother. It was you. So don't be doing no eight-minute videos talking real slow like, like you are, Bray Wyatt, Wyatt. And, you know, I have to speed you all the way up to get it to go in order to get to two minutes. That eight minutes could have been done in three minutes, man. You did all of that talking about people hating on you. And nah, man, that's why I told you, you don't know what's going on and you don't know who you're talking to. Don't jump in beefs if you don't know. I'm the damn news and Pedro is Pedro. I'm the official news and Pedro is Pedro. Why do you think there was an up and up that I put up there from another news publication that had Pedro hop in on my life that they did? I did that to show you that third parties watch me, which means that the apps are. I've been saying this for almost two years because I'm here for the people, G. That's all on you, man. You can't say Pedro and haters and who's going to call in and do that. Like John said, no one knows your name, but we all know your face. It's like cheers. I want to go where everybody knows your name. Do -do -do -do. And we always feel the same. I want to be where the people see. All that stuff, cheers. So if everyone knows who you are, all they got to do is look. They ain't even got to give your name. All they got to do is just send DoorDash or whatever something, a secret information, a uh, link of your videos. They go and watch. You were doxxed, G. You were documented and lost your job. You were doxxed. But you doxxed yourself. You chose to do it and put it on camera, so you doxxed yourself. You admitted you were up and up. I'm I am not the up and up. I'm not the up and up. That's a completely different the up and up stopped their new stuff and mine still goes. So that is completely false. But you did that, man. You did that. You did that all to yourself. I will never go into a restaurant. I talk about merchants, drivers, and customers. You will never see hot facts go in a restaurant and start trying to act like he's going to fight a driver. You will never see that, G. 
You will never see that. That will never happen. The look, the gig apps watch me. The gig apps watch me. They watch my videos. And here's how you know all my videos are about positivity, business practices, and everything. That's what my stuff is about. So I do all my stuff just like that. So it is the way it is. I am the hugest clown in all of the gig economy because I run business. I wasn't a failed W-2 employee who said, let's start a business. I've been a 1099 working for myself for, man, I can't even count how many years. 20 plus years. What the hell? Working for myself. You just don't come in here doing this stuff and doing it like that, G. I hope episode eight teaches you a lesson because right now, you know, you're deactivated and then you got the courage to say you about to get uh, reactivated that fast. Hell no. They got they got video footage. They got all this and that. And 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 check this out. I want you since you so big and bad for episode number nine. Why don't you go back into Jets P Pizza, film yourself and tell them what's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? Why y'all tell DoorDash on me? I know you don't want to fight me. Go do that to Jets Pizza. Don't do it to nobody else picking up from Jets Pizza. Do it to Jets Pizza. So now you got uh, Uber Eats and all that, right? So now Uber Eats can go ahead and tell you that we don't want you picking up because Jets Pizza can send your info to the other apps that you're on too. Now you can go ahead and shrink all your money up. Don't hop into the gig game. Oh, it's YouTube and this and that. I can do whatever the hell I want. It's business. You didn't even get um, monetized yet before you fucked it up. You talking about the bag? How you not go secure the bag of saying you can do it legally first? You fucked that up. DoorDash was your bag. Now go do that same shit on Uber Eats. Go, go, go do a priority glitch when someone pays two bucks and you don't go take it to, to them. Go do that same shit on Uber Eats. Do it on Grubhub. Do it on Walmart Spark. I dare you. Do it on Instacart. I dare you to do that same shit. DoorDash is the hood. They accept anything. You don't even got to have insurance on your shit. You can crash and die, and then you'll lose all your shit, and DoorDash don't care. because They know you ain't got the brains to go ahead and handle your shit. You feel victim. You fell victim. You hopped in the game way too fast, G. I told you that there's levels to all of this. You don't hop in thinking you are the big, bad, almighty. Put your work in. Get your inter I told you to get your interviews in. Get those in. Let people see who you are. You didn't have to go King Kong on niggas and Jets Pizza. That looks like Papa John's. The hell does this say? What does this say? Laughing out loud. I don't mean to laugh. Dude has kids, but he recognized real. I'm kind of lost on that because if you have kids or if you don't have kids, you can recognize or unrecognize real. So I'm kind of lost on how your brain works. That don't even make no sense. Just like how GDA said that I'm not going to get deactivated. I can do whatever the hell I want to do. That didn't make no sense. You're on camera and then you put yourself. So I want all of you guys out there to know whether you are on Hollywood gig news, the hot seat, you are in this thing, you're in anything that I got going on. I'm a news channel and they watch me. So don't think that so don't think that if hot facts puts you up, ain't nobody go watch it. My views and everything say that that's what they watch. Y'all think y'all 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 think y'all y'all think y'all got some here, huh? Y'all think y'all got some. Now, remember when I told you guys how many episodes of The King of St. Louis myself and Eli had 13. 
This is episode number eight. I said, do you think we will pass Eli? A lot of you guys said yes, but look, he's already deactivated. Pedro's quiet doing other things, and now this guy don't know what to do. So chances are, even with your votes, this guy is going to do worse than what Eli did with me. So this big-ass tough guy is worse than Eli. Imagine that. Episode number eight, the revolution copied Eli. This dude blocked and banned me from his own uh, channel because he made up that the Mississippi sign in my thumbnail was about him. And it's about six cops who brutalized and humiliated a black dude, two black dudes. He thought that the other guy on top of him that wasn't saying what he said out of his mouth, what he said out of his own mouth, the thumbnail was doing all that. He made a fool of himself doing all that stuff. That's what the Rev did. So he did all that stuff too. This is just stupid. Just stupid. This, and he was on, he was on this morning saying some stuff about me earlier too. Come on now, people, y'all can say all y'all want. And I'm not even gonna put that stuff up there. My man dead wrong, he's dead wrong. Episode number eight got other mentions inside of this. Revolution, you're in episode eight because you were just crazy as hell too. Everybody else thinking crazy ass shit. You are you are in number eight coming in here with the eyeballs on one. This ain't even nothing about you. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Stop all that stuff. And you have a channel that has respect. Quit doing this disrespectful stuff and making up stuff that never happens because I show you saying everything, which makes you look like when Roy said he's Judas. Turned your back on me for a couple shekels saying that the information man is someone that has a very great channel that has, man, he went on there talking about how many subs and views he has and everything, and he still ain't even brought you on for an interview on his own show. So you can keep doing all that stuff. People, don't think that the things that someone else tells you to do to make them look better is going to benefit you in the long run. That stuff don't work. It don't work. Do what you got to do for yourself. And I want to make a huge apology right now to Hector, Poppy Chuchulo. I kicked him off my um the hot seat yesterday because he uh, he took his face face off. But I was trying to make sure that episode number eight was uh, episode number two was gonna be great. Um, Hector was going through a bad signal area, and I kicked him off before he was not able to tell me. So in front of everyone, and I went on earlier, and I apologized on his channel also. Um, I apologize to Hector for it. But people, if you come on any of these things, unless you get clearance to um, show your face, to not show your face, then only and only Roy has that clearance to not show his face. So, yes. So unless you are Roy, um, nobody else has clearance to have their face blocked. You can only be Roy. And there are special circumstances that goes into that. OK, now. I'm done with that. So, people, I'm going to give you a bonus right here. The Blade Vigilante, the revolution is not hidden on my cha channel. The link is up. He already told you guys he will not click my link. Um, I want you to click the link so I can ask you, why the hell did you say and, and your thumbnail was overcrowded as well? And did y'all see that he got this guy thinking from my thoughts? Or you're all the way wrong. That is cut to the chase TV. I mentioned him for a topic of my show. You are up there, and that is your exact thumbnail. That's why it says DoorDash Revolution from your exact picture. I didn't make you look like anything. That's your picture. So if you don't like your own picture, why would you take it? Then I did not want the white bubble to be blocking where it says the DoorDash Revolution. So I moved it to the side because you were talking out the side of your mouth, too, with all that nonsense. Then I had Dashing Trader right there, who was another topic there. Then from Dashing Tra Trader, I had Mississippi because of those six cops. SpaceX, I spoke about that. I talked about us not being Goku and all the other stuff. I said that. And Eli was up there on the other end. 
Eli wasn't thinking from, from, from me or SpaceX. No, you misread the whole freaking thumbnail. You got butt hurt. You, you told everyone. And guess what? Since you said that, look, the news is not welcome here. Motherfucker, I'm Jose Alvarez, nigga. I already sent you a, 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 a text message with all of the names that I use. You have it and you still think that it's someone else when I told you it's me. I sent you the text message on that. So you said, well, that's a good question. You know why it was a good one? Because I was the one asking it. It was me. It was me asking as, 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 as Jose Alvarez. That's why it was a good question. You were speaking before you knew anything. I asked you that question. It was me. And I wrote you again and took a screenshot and screen record before you take it down. I am Jose Alvarez. And I went through everything and told you. I ain't never said one thing wrong to you, never disrespected you, ain't did none of that stuff. I only show what you do. I ain't did none of that. I didn't dis disrespect you then or there. Even when George went on your channel, I said George was on another channel um, doing things because I'm not promoting you anymore. You got all your juice. You squeezed it out. You are the cash cow. So go get your juice. Now I'm helping you. So now, like Roy said, you are a Judas. Everything I said and how you did not go ahead and get in contact with Ricky Knight and everything, that's all on you. You played this whole thing and now it's blown up in your face. How the fuck you go start something without even watching the live stream and say I slandered your name when I showed your exact video? I wish I wouldn't have deleted them here because I only put things up for my show that I'm doing. You got to go back and take your lives down because I'm going to go back and dissect all of it again and, and let them hear your words. Just like you did again today. I ain't said nothing wrong about you. You don't want, I'm going to let you see for yourself. People ain't going to be talking all over each other. That didn't happen on the hot seat yesterday. That didn't happen with John and TFT here. That don't happen. When I'm doing regular shows, they are ran right. You don't know how to run your show. You get on one topic and it lasts 40 minutes for one topic. I get through a whole show in that whole time. Then you say stuff like, well, I know that might be a troll, y'all. And I'm telling you, for the, you don't even do the advertising right. It don't sound right. The music in the beginning don't sound right. It's not coming through like this. Look, I'll, I'll give you an example. Come on now, Rev. You pick, you, you pick the worst one. You pick the worst one, man. This is not coming from my phone. I'm watching on my phone. Now, you have StreamYard. I have clips up like this. You like, well, let me show George's wife stuff. Can't nobody see her artwork and stuff through your phone doing this. Why won't you put it up so we can see it like this? You guys looking for the best barbecue in Moreno Valley? Go ahead, head on over and try some of this Reese's BBQ. 951-999-2615. Plate includes three ribs, one hot. You guys looking for the best barbecue in Moreno Valley? Go ahead, head on over and try. You guys looking for the best barbecue in Moreno Valley? Go ahead, head on over and try some of this Reese's BBQ. 951-999-2615. Plate includes. All right, so Rev. You can put clips up. I make clips to go there. You got StreamYard. You can do all that. I ain't told you how to do nothing. I'm letting you go do what you want to do. You are the cash cow. You keep talking about uh, people sign up for my memberships, but you keep saying sign up because this, this is what we will have. It's not already there for them to see that that's what they have. My memberships, I tell them what it is and you see what I do. Don't tell people to sign up for something and it's not even there. Well, I'm not going to tell you guys that you got to sign up for this. The information in the list is not even there. Come on now. Well, I'm going to be doing this and doing that. Well, I say what I'm going to be doing, but I go and do it though. 
I make my series my everything. I'm not in competition with you. You have never been in my sight as someone I'm competing with. I never looked at you like that. I looked at you as someone that I respect and I appreciate. And I'll do whatever I can for. That's what I thought about you. Let's keep that 100. You stopped all that because you want to get this and you want to get that and no, and I never controlled you. The information man told you not to work with me. I didn't tell you not to work with anybody, but you gonna say, I'm not going to be like the pastor that does this. The information man told you not to work with me, but you say, I'm not going to be like them people. So you talking about him because you saying you gonna let George do, but George already does. What he does no matter what. So wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and smell it, man. Your channel is yours. Do whatever the hell you want to do. I don't care what you do. You go do live interviews and you go do your thing. That is all the way good. But when you go on there, you try to press them. Well, this is my channel here. No, that's not what I do. I don't say this is my channel here. Let me show you. I say, hey, let me show you what marketing is. You walk up to a brand new booth, Rev. Hey, you guys, you know what? I saw you guys. I want to come here because I knew you guys would be here today. Now, I know that uh, you guys are a small business. Are you guys a couple? You guys partners, relationship as far as business? How does this work? You get that done all the way, Rev. Then you say, yeah, you know what? I am here. I have a YouTube channel and a website. I want to promote the businesses here in our area so everyone around here knows what we have. We have to support each other. But I really love how that looks. It looks like it tastes good. Can I try some of that? Well, yes, you can. Well, would you mind if I try it for my view view viewers? Yes. Yeah, so now you get that footage now. So now you get that footage now, Rev. You go ahead and get that footage now, Rev. Once you get that footage now, Rev, you say, now, look, I want to thank you guys. My viewers are going to be appreciative of all this. Now, before I leave, uh, do you guys have a phone, a tablet, or a computer here? Yes. Go ahead to Google right now. Type me up. Don't have them. Don't pull up on your phone. Have them type it up on on. On, 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 on their device and have him and have them hit subscribe. Then after they do do it, you go ahead and send them a message and then say thank you. Don't I'm not in competition with you. You don't do the shit that I do, man. Don't nobody do. Can't nobody even hear the interviews when you're in public with the people. Can't nobody even hear the questions. The best one was at the black college when you were reading what was going on on the um, on the statue. That was great. I love that. I shared it and everything. I love that. I loved it. But when you go in to talk to somebody and you keep looking in the camera to see if you looking at yourself in the camera and then you ask them a question looking at yourself and then they don't even know what the hell you asking and it don't sound right. That's not nobody else controlling you. That's you not knowing how to handle your situation because you're supposed to know how to run your business. So don't come at me with none of that stuff, Rev. And I'm sick and tired of it. All you've been doing this whole time is throwing shots. After my mom died, when my mom was in the hospital, and I was and I was on the phone with you and I was cr crying and my auntie took the phone. You were being fake to me then because right after my mom died, you pulled all this bullshit. So don't come at me with that bullshit. You fake. Don't come at me with that shit. You fake. You took my whole fucking thumbnail and said it's about you. It's not about you. Everything is not about you. Now, you say you're a trendsetter, right? Be that trendsetter. Be who you are. Don't try to make everybody try to think that, oh, well, they're talking about me. Ain't nobody. And when is this your driver Mike interview happening? Billy Cooper already shouted me out. When is that interview with him and him going to happen? Quit, quit talking about shit that that's not even in existence. Quit doing it. I was the only one helping you with, with all that nonsense. You keep talking, you're long wind winded. I have to push your shit up to almost two times speed to make you speak normal. What the hell? Ain't no one trying to hear you get through all this and all that when you really ain't saying nothing. Everything is top secret. Everything is not top secret. Give information out, let them see what it is, and let them learn. Let them make what they want to make in their mar market. Let them do that shit. That's what they want to do. It's not about you coming in as the Blade Vigilante. This account is all about safety and all hunting and 
No, it's not. It's about you putting eyeballs up to go stalk people and not say nothing to them and not click no links. That's what that is all about. Now, I've been sick and tired of sitting here letting you run your mouth and throwing all these sneak disses about me the whole time. Now it's time for me to go ahead and get up inside your ass. Mm-hmm. That's what you do, right? Go try to say, well, I want to challenge Red by herself. Nigga, you just said you're going to challenge the whole team three hours, and then when they say yes, you ain't going to accept them. You're weird for that stuff. Now, go tell information, man, to counsel you on that. Go tell him to counsel you on that. Maybe right now, more people will go click on your videos, and now when they see that you're saying this stuff, he must be talking about Reese. He must be talking about Reese. That's what he's still doing, y'all. He sneak talks and everything and tries to say, well, I'm not going to do it like that. Well, everything you saying you not going to do keeps you right where you are. It's not about the people that go and watch you and watch you for this and that. That's why I got different playlists and different shows. They all watch different stuff. And right now on episode number eight, I gave them a whole episode on me not doing a whole episode on you so you can learn. Don't cross that bridge because you already did. Go back and learn. I ain't never said none of that stuff. Slandered your name and defamated your character. You made that up. And I'm the one, Jose Alvarez, that asked you the question. And you said, that's a good question. And then you avoided answering it the whole way. I put that up there. All my life is up there so that everyone can see. I'm Jose Alvarez. And if anyone wants to see, I sent him the same text message with all my accounts on there. That's how Roy knows which ones I am. He ain't stupid. How come you don't? Well, I think Reese got a hit squad. Everybody coming in me and, and, and all his followers. No, you made yourself look like a scumbag by doing this bullshit. And now you're doing this and that. And then you made you like you made a live stream. It said someone else is doing a live at this time. And I'm going to go ahead and get on them. And all you were looking at was the thumbnail that had to do with every single topic that I was speaking about. Well, I'm Mississippi. I'm over here in Tennessee. No one cares. You are not one of those six officers. So why would you go and tell people that that was about you? You lied. Get away from me with all that nonsense. I'm a news channel. That's what I do. With or without you, I was a news channel. I'm not going to be stopping what I do because you don't like it. Nigga, you in the news now. So stop being in the news by making up bullshit that I'm not saying. Because ain't nobody seen. I want you. Pull up a video outside of me talking to you directly that I'm talking about you. And make people real co-hosts. Send them emails from StreamYard. Don't say that that's just what you are and try to hold them down and then say, I'm not going to get mad at you if you work with somebody. You are already mad because you said that. Episode number eight of the King of St. Louis transferred from California to Mississippi to Tennessee to Arkansas. And ain't none of that shit on my thumbnail had to do with you except your own motherfucking picture. With your name, that's actually your picture from your last live. So ain't nobody humiliated you. You don't like your own picture then. And you don't like you saying I challenge everyone. So quit saying shit if you don't like it. I'm tired of that bullshit. And quit using that pastor shit around like, oh, I'm a pastor. I don't never think wrong. We're all humans. Like Roy said, Reese, what's up with you doing this and that? I said, Roy, I might have did it 10 times. We all humans. Quit acting like you the almighty. And actually, Roy said, at least Reese got notes. You, you start putting up notes, but you don't follow them. Because all someone has to do is say a troll comment, and you go into that. Keep your show what it is. Let the people watch the stuff. I got episodes. I walk in front of stores. I interview people. My series and shows are real videos. You do the same exact type of video the whole time. And go behind the scenes and go talk all this stuff too. I ain't been in no group text, no nothing because of you. I ain't even talked to TFT. 
like I'm supposed to because of how you like, well, TFT is here and all this. I took myself away from everything to focus on my shit because of you. You fucked up my whole team on how we communicate with each other personally. You did that. Let's keep this way 100. You did that. I'm supposed to talk to TFT at least twice a day. I ain't talked to TFT on the phone in over a month and some change because of you. I don't want nothing that I say that might seem a certain way to go from him and it gets in that and vice versa. So I separated so ain't nobody feeling no pain. And that's all because of you, revolution. So let's talk about the effects in which you taught me. You taught me not to trust a nigga that you go stick your, your neck out for that had you in tears when he did something wrong to you. I will never trust a nigga like that again. That's what the fuck you did. So don't you ever sit up here and tell me some bullshit. Let's keep this 1001 funky and everybody else out there, go write him in the comments and ask him, is what re saying real? I guarantee from everything that happened, he already said I didn't lie. So let's let this happen. Let's 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 keep it a thousand. I don't even communicate with none of y'all except for George right now. Because George is who he is. Give a fuck about that bullshit. You want to be something you not and do this and all that. Nobody cares, man. Nobody cares except for you making up shit that I never said and said I slander. Man, all I got to do if I really wanted to fucking be a to be an asshole. You're defamating me and slandering me for saying shit that I never said. I got the proof of you saying that shit. You slandered yourself by making up bullshit. So don't come at me with that bullshit. You are on the hot seat. You on the news. You are everything. And I will still use everything in fair use and use your picture if I have to, if need be. So what the hell are you going to say about that? Nothing. You ain't going to say nothing about it. You ain't going to say nothing about it. And you will not say nothing about it because you know what I'm saying is real. Go make up them lies for everybody else. Make up them lies for everybody else. Them lies are not for, for me. They are not for me at all. The fuck are you talking about? That shit is not for me at all. What's this motherfucker saying right here? All right. You're 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 about to just get it. You know, I ain't got no time for no bullshit. So there you go. Don't come at me like that, Rev. Every morning you got something to say. Well, Reese did this. Reese talked about um a secret about beta testing for you are not the only driver in the motherfucking United States or in the world that DoorDash has a people working for the beta testing wasn't about you you even tried to pull that into yourself get your head out your ass man you are not god's gift to delivery work you are in your area focus on people trying to run you over with cars and let them get on camera and talk to you so we can all hear them say that wasn't me so we can hear what you got to say on how you got a rebuttal out of that come on now don't come at me with none of that stuff Rev. I'm tired of it. I've been quiet. Man, you lucky my mom passed. I would have been in your ass a long time ago. My mom passed. This whole year is togetherness, but I'm not going to do it with you. I even tried to do a safety thing and bullying and cyberbullying and everything with George John John George Hulk smash. And you turned it down because you were telling him Reese don't want to do it. He's not going to do it. Motherfucker, it was you. Guess who did the episode? It was me and George John John George, not you because you punked out because you a hater. Now, let's speak on the shit. And tell everybody I'm not lying. We don't want to hear no three-hour live stream either, um, either about how you trying to try to make this stuff up. That's not what it is, G. Get that shit straight. Get that shit straight. Get it straight. Playing with me with this all this nonsense. All this nonsense. You even called out Dash and Tra Tra Trader because his picture was, was right next to yours. Trader was on the hot seat for the shit he said about not being wanting to go up and talk to people who are non-content creators. That had nothing to do with you and then you challenged him for that shit. 
That's why I was, how are you lo losing it? Yeah, look at what the fuck I'm saying. This says that someone may be losing it. Everything that was going on had nothing to do with you except for your own personal part. And you tried to make everything seem like it was yours. So go ahead, slap yourself 88,000 times with the mm-hmm and uh-huh. And you making up stipulations for challenges that don't nobody know, know about, that ain't nobody gonna do. And you say, these are all my rules. It's gonna go like this because I'm in control. Yeah, be in control, like Roy says, of your own destiny that no one's gonna be in your world doing it with you. Be in that world right there, Rev. Now, now, gig machine. Don't end up like this. You are already on the outskirt. Anybody got something to say? The link is open. I'll give y'all two minutes of whoever else got something to say. Click the link because this will be the end of episode eight. And I have to get Rev in here too because I'm tired of it. You want to click the link? Click the link. Otherwise, people, we out of here. Waiting on this target order. I couldn't even sit still and park because these motherfuckers pissing me off. Now, somebody go ask Rev everything I said, and I'm Jose Alvarez, the person that made him tongue-tied in the question because he couldn't answer it because it put him right back in his boots. He made up a whole live stream before I even went live, and he even knew what it was about. The fuck out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed episode number eight. Entertainment, drama, real life, and busters hiding behind fake personas. Now go give the information man that.